Hi there, scrapbookers. This is Kim coming to you again from Mom's Creative Moments. And today I wanted to talk to you a little bit more about another one of our tools that Creative Memories has. Um, and this is one probably my favorite tool next to the trimmer. So that's why I'm doing it um, as my second video to share with you today. This is our border maker system. And this makes adding a really nice decorative border to any page super quick and easy and um, makes your pages look fantastic without you having to spend hours and hours and hours on them. So that's one of my favorite things about it. Plus, um, it's also a little bit more affordable than an individual border punch. So um, let me show you how it works, first of all. Um, with the border maker system, you get these three pieces. You get the, uh, the paper holder, which is this piece. You get the cartridge holder, which is this piece. You get the picket fence border maker cartridge, which is this piece right here. And then you get right now, currently you get to select from these two additional border cartridges. You can either have the um, Bridges border maker cartridge or the apples, apple chain. And so um, these are different in the way that they punch. And I'm gonna show you how, that they, how they punch, um, but they do, you get your choice of one of these along with the picket fence cartridge with your system when you order it. And then there are usually anywhere between um, six and 10 additional cartridges that are available that you can choose from at any given time. And I will show you currently what we have available at the end of this video. But let me go ahead and show you how it works so that you can see. And we'll use the picket fence cartridge to show you how to do it. By the way, don't let it bother you that my picket fence cartridge is blue. It just means that I have had this system for a very long time because now they only make those cartridges in black, um, but mine was blue. Okay, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna turn it over and notice that there is an arm hidden underneath the um, paper holder. It has a cute little um, spot right here that allows you to free that arm. You just pull gently on it and it pops right out and then you can pop it into place and it will stay right there. You lift up the blue arm and you'll discover that there is a very strong magnet on both sides of this piece right here. That's gonna hold your paper in place. So you take your 12 by 12 piece of paper, slide it in underneath the blue arm, all the way until it hits this bumper on the guide out here, and then it will stop. I just pinch my finger on there and hold it in place so that that edge stays against the bumper. And then you flip this arm with the magnet down to hold the paper in place. Then you take the guide and you flip it back underneath and secure it underneath. Flip your paper back over and you are ready to punch. Now, a couple things. On the front of your cartridge, you'll notice you have two little bumps. One is a little bit wider and, and higher than the other little bump. Those are gonna help make sure that your cartridge is in the right place as you punch. And on your guide, you can see that there are also corresponding bumps or divots in your guide as you go along right here. That's all well and good, you say, but when the, with the paper like this, you can't see those. Well, that's true. But what we have is this notch right here on the front of the carrier. You see that little notch? And we have a notch that corresponds on the paper holder right here and they go gradually up along your paper, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna match this notch with that notch and these posts should fit right into the notches on your paper holder right here. So if you line those up and push it so that it's flush up against the paper holder. Then if you grab it like this and try to push it that way or this way, you'll notice that you can't really do that. If, if that's true, you can't move it and you're in the right place. So once you're there, you just hold this still with your left hand and grab this with your right hand and push down. 
and you punch. Then you move to the next one and punch. You do the next one and punch and so forth until you get all the way across to the end. And what you're left with is the design of your cartridge. And then you have a lot of confetti too. Um, then to release it, you just lift up the arm and slide your paper out and you're good to go. All right, so this is the picket fence cartridge. It's a cartridge that everyone is able to um, utilize and have fun with. And um, when you get to play with this, you'll discover that you can cut this at, um, at a length out here and be able to turn it around, punch the other side, and you can weave ribbons through this particular cartridge and do some really fun things. So um, there'll be a video on that um, another time, or there are other, other advisors that have that video already up with, if you're curious, but um, I'll try to post one as well when I get a little more experienced. So let me go ahead and just for the fun of it, show you these other cartridges. So there's a button here on the back, you push the button and it releases your cartridge. It falls right out into your hand. Let's try the bridges one. And we'll just turn our paper around and punch from the other side. So remember, we have to pull out the guide, lift up our arm, slide the paper under to the edge of the guide, hold it there, and flip our arm down to secure it with that magnet. Then we're going to flip the arm or the guide back underneath and secure that. You'll hear it pop. And then I put in the bridges cartridge. Can you see that? All right, now the bridges cartridge, as I line it up here and make sure it's in the right place, the bridges cartridge is what we call a connected punch. So that means that it's going to put a design along the edge of your paper. It's not going to separate. It's just going to give you a design along the edge and that's it, all right? So that gives you a pretty little punch for an edge. And I've actually seen this one used as a spider web in some really creative pages um, around circles and things like that. But I'll do that in another video to show you. But that is our bridges punch. So that is one of the choices that you can get. Let, let me show you the other one. It's the apples chain punch. And a chain punch is a little bit different than a standard punch because it will completely separate from your page. So I probably did that a little bit fast, but um, I lifted up the arm, put, put my paper in all the way to the edge of the bumper, secured it with the, by putting the blue arm down and the magnets together that are underneath here, and we're good to go, except that I need to change my cartridge. So I push the button, release it. There goes my bridges cartridge. And we're going to put our apple chain in. And we're going to line it up, put the paper in between, and right into those notches, lining this one and this one up. Now we're going to punch. And you'll see right away the difference between this one and the bridges punch, because this, all of the chain punches separate from your paper. So you end up with a completely separate chain that you can have fun, fun with, with a card or across the bottom or a, a page, a 12 inch page. Um, anyway, you can do lots of fun things with that. But anyway, so that's the difference between a chain punch and a connected punch. This is a connected punch. This is a chain punch. Now, as far as what's available currently, I can show you that real quick as well. Now they are sold separately, all the additional punches. You do get two when you purchase the system. But each additional punch is sold separately. All right, this is a brand new one that just came out. 
and it is our it came out with our christmas collection you'll see why this is our candy cane chain and just in case you're curious about size and that kind of thing about those candy canes that's how they line up with the apples quite a bit of confetti with this one there we go all right gonna be very cute to do that one at christmas this one is a favorite of mine because i live in utah where there's a lot of ranching and farming that goes on this punch is our barbed wire punch but don't let that hold you back from getting it if you don't live in a ranching community this punch makes a great school of thread if you are a sewer, just a couple of little snips, and you have your own little spool of thread to go ahead and accent a page, a sewing page. If you're a quilter or you know someone's a quilter or someone makes you something special, you'll notice that the ones I'm doing right now, these are chains, so they do come across, they come um, off your paper, separate just like that apple chain does. All right, let's see here. This one, I am failing to remember the name of. It is one of our newer ones. Hold on one second. I am going to check so I can tell you. Oh, that's right. This is the lamp light chain. And it is very pretty. I have actually done this in a light color and then done two more rows of it in a darker color to, to put a little bit higher or a little bit lower to shadow it and it's very very nice very pretty on a page okay here's another one that is also another chain this is our diamond arches chain. This one's very nice. And a good sized border. Now I am using cardstock to do these so they do have a little bit of a stiffness to them. Not much but some. When you're cutting a, a more intricate design, it is a good idea to have, you know, not too flimsy of a paper, although our designer papers are perfect for this as well. And you don't want to use a cardstock that is super, super thick because you won't be able to cut all the way through and it will get stuck in your punch and you don't want that to happen. That can cause lots of heartache. So be careful when you're using cardstock. Um, to make sure that you're not using a cardstock that is too overwhelmingly thick. Okay, I'm going to do one more chain. This is our rope chain. It's hard, it's hard to see with that reflective design on there, but you'll be able to see it better once I put it. The rope chain border maker cartridge is currently unavailable, but it will be back in stock soon. So I hope that you can be patient if you want this one. It is worth it. It's a beautiful um, rope and can accent lots of pages very nicely, especially ocean or boating type pages or um, things like that. It looks, looks really nice with. Now the next two are connected punches. 
And they are you know, the last two remaining punches I want to show you so that you can see what they look like. If you live in an area that does a lot of hunting, or people like to do a lot of hunting, this one is so cool. This one is um, paused. Can you see that? So if you have a, um, anybody that likes to go hunting, or even if you just have a, a favorite pet at home, that has paws. This is great. You can make it look like they're walking across your page. Really, really cute. But it is connected. You see the difference between these chains that are separate and the connected punch. I'm going to turn this paper over and we're going to do one last punch of what's currently available in our line. And this is October of 2021. These punches do routinely rotate through the line, so they will not be available forever when they are gone. They generally do not get reordered. So um, we do highly recommend that if you see one that you really like, you get it as soon as you can so that you can ensure that you have that to play with and decorate your projects with. This is our starry punch. This is a fairly recent addition to our collection. And you'll notice it has a multitude of stars that punch out of it, um, which also means that you end up with a multitude of stars. So if you like to do shaker cards or, or um, other designs with stars, then you have all these little extra stars you can save and use in your shaker cards, which is kind of a cool addition if you're gonna be punching things out. A lot of these also have extra pieces when you punch them out that you can use on other projects and save because they make unique designs. So that gives you a little bit extra bang for your buck as well. All right, if you have any questions, leave it in the comments and I will check it and get back to you. But um, I appreciate you watching and from happy scrapping.